What's up, guys, and welcome to ATC Point of View. If you are new to the channel, my name is Lex, and thanks for joining me. This incident happened on October 1st, 2022. A Skyhawk pilot departed from Duluth International Airport on their way to South St. Paul Airport in Minnesota. However, shortly after taking off, the aircraft crashed about two miles south of the airport. The weather conditions were very poor. Reported ceilings were between 200 to 300 feet AGL. So let's check it out. Duluth ground, November 262 Tango Alpha. We are at the Monaco ramp looking for IFR. 262 Tango Alpha, Duluth ground, cleared, send a question to MI1. So, two Tango Alpha cleared to the South St. Paul Airport via direct. Climb and maintain 6000, departure frequency 125.45, squawk 4220. I cleared to the South St. Paul Airport via direct, climb and maintain 6000, 125425, and I missed the squawk code. Two Tango Alpha 4220, 4220 for the squawk. Readback is correct and advise ready to taxi. 4220, and we are ready to taxi now for Tango Alpha. Tango Alpha, runway 9er, taxi via Alpha. Right now, looking at about a half a mile viz. I'll get an RVR for you here in a moment. And uh, base is reported 250 feet AGL. And uh, we had a King Air depart earlier. They never reported the tops because they couldn't really decipher when they got out. Uh, but that was like closer to like 12,000 feet. Just for what it's worth, you might be an IMC for a while. All right, via Alpha, and it'll probably be an IMC for a while. Thank you for two Tango Alpha. Two Tango Alpha, just for planning purposes. I got uh, step four uh, out of five set up for the light. Runway Niner, RVR more than 6,000. Roger, for two Tango Alpha. Duluth Tower, 262 Tango Alpha is holding short. Runway Niner, ready for takeoff. 262 Tango Alpha, Duluth Tower, runway Niner, cleared for takeoff, turn right, proceed direct south, St. Paul Airport. Went zero, Niner zero, one four, gust one eight, runway Niner, RVR, more than 6,000. All right, clear for takeoff, runway Niner, turn right, direct to South St. Paul, two Tango Alpha. Two Tango Alpha, contact departure, good night. Contact departure, two Tango Alpha. Sister 262 Tango Alpha, departure here. Sister 2 Tango Alpha, contact departure. Contact the departure, two Tango Alpha, one second. Tango Alpha, I'm showing you, you uh, you're descending now to 1900, verify your climate. For 2 Tango Alpha, Duluth, are you still on? 2 Tango Alpha, Duluth. 2 Tango Alpha, Duluth approach, out of here. Duluth ground, engine 6 7. Engine 6 7, Duluth ground. Alpha on Bravo to mid tilt. From engine 6 7, Roger, proceed via Bravo. Cross runway 2 7, as requested. Uh, Taxi or Bravo light should be coming on for you. Bravo, cross 27 to midfield, engine 67. Ground 67. What kind of aircraft do they have? The system 172, not exactly sure how many passengers are on board. As far as we know, it's just the pilot. Copy that. 172, unknown soul. It's just a high wing airplane. Uh, typically, it's uh, reserved for four or five passengers on board the airplane, but it's, it's typically four, a uh, four seater uh, Cessna. Copy that. I got it. And uh, what's, what's the best place to start looking? Okay, so uh, we estimate, uh, based on the way they were turning, their trajectory about a mile, mile and a half south of the airport. Maybe you want to start checking by 53. Maybe you want to start looking down. Um, uh, let's see, what's the road parallel to 53? Copy that. Thank you. Go ahead, road would be another good look. We haven't received any phone call from local 911. We're going to try reaching out and see if uh, they've got any reports that uh, we could pass along if you want to monitor the frequency. I copy that. We'll be on here. Two ground. This is Chief 2 plus 1 at Arpon Bravo. Chief 2 plus 1 to Luth ground. You want to go to midfield? Correct. Chief 2 plus 1 at Arpon Bravo requesting from Arpon Bravo to midfield. Chief 2, Roger, proceed via Bravo, cross runway 27, Alpha 3 to the midfield ramp. Have you guys heard anything on your local uh, fire department band on anything? Negative on that. Chief 1, 51, 54, West Arrowhead Road. That's the address we just got. Three around Levesque and West Arrowhead. Do you copy, Chief 1? Did 6 7, do you copy that as well? We got it. Okay. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Taking a look at the aircraft's ADS-B track, he's cleared for takeoff on runway 9 and is instructed to make a right turn on course to his destination. The plane takes off at about 11.10 p.m. local time. About halfway down the runway, he starts his turn already to the south. 
He's told by the tower to contact the Parcher twice, but it sounds like he's preoccupied with something. The pilot never reported any issues or show any concern that something was wrong. He starts descending in a hard left turn to the west before ultimately crashing in a home at 11.17 p.m. just seven minutes after taking off, killing the pilot and the two passengers on board. As you can see in these images, the plane struck the roof of the home and then broke apart in the yard. There were two people inside the home at the time, but fortunately, no one got hurt and nobody else in the area got hurt as well. The NTSB is still doing their initial examination of the wreckage, so the preliminary report isn't out yet to provide us with the details that are missing. So it's unclear if it is caused by a mechanical issue or the weather or simply pilot error. The air traffic controller did do a good job in providing the pilot with up-to-date weather information by telling him about the king air that departed previously. But if I was the air traffic controller, one thing I would have done differently would be to contact 911 as well. The aircraft rescue and firefighting crew is conveniently placed at the airport for on-site accidents. But in this situation, the accident was off-site, so calling 911, uh, they might have gotten to it a lot quicker and provide any kind of assistance to uh, any survivors, if there were any. The weather conditions cer certainly played a role in this accident. We've seen it too often where pilots get disoriented and then crashing. But share your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this incident. If you haven't done so already, hit the like, subscribe button. And as always, peace.